Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a great video for you guys. First I would like to say welcome to my returning viewers, subscribers, and my new subscribers. Thank you for supporting this channel and watching my video. I do appreciate it. So today I try to did I try to do a live today, you guys. Um, and it didn't. Something happened to the video, and I'm trying to remove it from my channel, and it's sitting there. So don't go watch that video. This is part two to that video. So since the, since the, something was wrong with the live, I just um, decided to record it and not go live. But um, yeah. So first, I would like to say happy spring. I'm so happy spring is here. It is garden season. Yes, I'm excited. It's time for us to get prepared and um, start to grow our food and flowers. And yeah, it's just uh, we're just gonna have a lot of fun. I'm excited. I was waiting for the season to come. So today we're gonna be talking about. Um, the gardens I had in the past and what worked for me last year and what did not work for me this year what um, I will be growing this year and what I will not be growing this year um, also um, I want to share with you guys um, my techniques with the garden last year I was very successful with the garden and most areas so yeah I have also some um, some um, items here that I used for a whole year and I want to give you my review on it and um, yeah so I wanted to do the live so that way we could get to know each other and we could just talk back and forth in the live but I would like to do a live and schedule one in the future if you guys are interested in that let me know down below I already know somebody else is interested and um, <clears throat> yeah so I'll be happy to do that for you guys so and today um i'm going to show you um the uh first i'm going to show you the seeds i have here and i'm um, going to show you the ones that wasn't i wasn't successful with last year last year's garden i grew peppers i grew tomatoes cucumbers um two different kales, peas. Um, I did grow some radishes, two different ones, and um, lettuce, a few different ones of those, some herbs, mint. Um, I grew, um, I have a blueberry uh, bush um, and that my daughter gave me as a gift last year. And um, yeah, so, and oregano. Okay, so. First, I want to show you. Just got all my stuff here. I did the. I was doing the other video, and then I just put everything away, and now I had to bring everything back out. I am a woman of my word. I told someone I was going to put up this video tonight, so I decided to redo it just for you guys. So um, that's why I'm doing it. So if you see me moving the seeds around, that's the reason. And it's eight. 38 p.m. here so excuse the lighting I do have two lamps up on <clears throat> two um, lights on so all right here it goes all right so I'm gonna tell you uh, the first thing I was successful in my garden last year I'm gonna share with you what I was successful for the, uh, the ones that I wasn't so successful and um um, how um, with the dirt I use and um, and um, how I um, took care of the, the dirt okay so I use the organic tomato from burpees the Roma tomato guys I don't know if you want to go back and go watch my um, garden videos I think I have it up there this this I recommend this one okay these grew fast and a lot of them were kept growing on the um on the plant and so I grew I believe it was one two three four five plants of these okay they grew beautifully 
and they were so juicy and tasteful and um, this year uh, this uh, 2020 I was successful with my tomatoes 2019 I wasn't and 2018 I was a flop so I'm gonna tell you what I did different that um, to the, the and I do it I have a what I did was a um, I did my garden in containers okay so I'll share that with you so that was a hit um, the radishes were a hit. I grew the small ones and I grew the, the little, the longer ones. I grew the white tip ones. That was a hit. Um, I mean, the turnips were a hit. Okay. Um, the longer um, radishes were a hit. I don't know what happened, but my spinach was not a hit. Okay. All my peppers didn't grow. This was not a hit. Okay, so this is the, um, I have tape over it because I'm just making sure the seeds doesn't fall. But this is the sweet peppers. Um, I, um, I was so excited to grow the, the bell peppers and this is the rainbow color one. And this one grew very slow and I only had a few in a plant and they didn't grow as big as they look here so I don't know what happened but I will like to give it another shot <clears throat> and I in one of these okay <clears throat> now I grew cucumbers they grew beautifully last year um, I grew um, the cucumbers. They just kept coming and coming. We had we were enjoying the cucumbers, the tomatoes, the, the radishes, um, the kale. So the, I I did curly kale last curly kale last year, and um, it grew, but it's not a big leaf. Um, but what I liked about this one is that the curly kale. What I like about it is that once you cut them, it keeps growing. So you will probably have a few batches of food with this one, okay? So that's the curly kale. Okay, I was very successful with my lettuces, okay? The Roman lettuce, the head of lettuce last year and um, and there's another lettuce I had, and I don't have it here because I used it all. Okay, so lettuce was a hit. Lettuce, uh, it's good to grow them around spring and around fall because they don't like the hot weather. They do better in the cooler climate. Um, and you get, uh, when you grow them in the fall, you get a longer uh, season with them because um, depending where you live, they tolerate the cold weather, okay? And there's tricks how to keep them from getting frozen. But, um, yeah, so those are the ones I grew that was very successful. Now, my tomatoes, I wasn't so successful. Um, the Roma tomatoes were the only ones that grew beautifully. Um, these, uh, which I'm going to try again, but these are the the ruggers okay i don't know why they didn't grow um and also the one that i was surprised that everybody likes and there's been uh good reviews on these and bad reviews on these from this is from burpees these are the organic ones um this is the brandy wine red this one grew okay but um it grew very slowly and um, I was getting twin tomatoes tw twin tomatoes when they were growing together stuck and um, but I only had a few in each uh, plant so I don't know I'm gonna try again so um, yeah so those are the two tomatoes that I was not successful with now I don't know about you guys out there but please let me know in the comments down below but peas, the third year now, 
last year was the best year of peas and it was still a bad year of peas and let me explain the other two years um they hardly even grew the flowers okay this 2020 the flowers grew i got only about but i only got about five of these pots so i don't know i'm gonna give them another try but i hear some people saying that then they don't where they live i guess it's where it depends the zone you live i live in zone 6a so um you some people are more successful than others so i don't know i'm gonna see but because i love peas but i i'm always ending up buying them at the grocery store for the past three years i have not been able to grow them okay so one of the flowers now let's um the spanish uh peppers did not grow and okay so those were my successful ones successful ones and non-successful ones okay now let's go to the flowers um very i was very very successful of growing marigolds last year beautiful marigolds i my marigolds grew about five feet tall okay and they were just beautiful the red colors with i had to mix one that had the red and the yellow they were just beautiful and um and the bees and the butterflies were loving them and um <clears throat> but i grew some flowers and i was not successful with, with this one but my sister was i'm gonna try to make this video not long too long i don't know some people don't like long videos and then some people are okay with it so we'll see okay so i grew these last year and i grew them in a pot with the marigolds and nothing happened i don't know the marigolds grew beautifully in that pot but these didn't grow at all so but they're beautiful look at them so i think i'm going to give it another try and um now let me just share with you the ones that i am going to the flowers that i'm going to be growing this year but before i do that i forgot to mention that these chili peppers they were not none of my peppers grew okay and the yes yeah, so and none of my peppers grew only two i think i have the plant of the rainbow peppers just two that's it out of the whole plant okay yeah it was it was it was it was um disappointing okay so i'm gonna share with you what I'm going to grow this year for food, and I'll share with you what I'm going to grow for flowers. So for food, we because I ha I'm moving from here, um, we have new landlords and I have to move. So I will be doing the ceilings here, and then I'm going to be transplanting them to my daughter's house. Um, she's going to talk to her neighbors because they have dogs, and let them know and see, you know, what see where it's going to go from there. Because we just we just have a little concerns about the dogs um, pooping and peeing around the plants and all that. Even though they're going to be in containers, but we just want to let them know um, because in the yard that she has, I never seen them. The dogs there is usually at the other side of the house, so it might just work. And if they say yes and they agree with us, because you know they like her a lot, I don't think it would be a problem. We're gonna put a little fence around it, and one of those little cheap fence around it so that dog would know that not to go there but um so we'll see how that goes because it will be a lot of fun for the to grow the food and the flowers with the kids um so that's what i'm going to be working on so we're going to be growing cucumbers a few tomatoes cherry tomato at least two plants at least two different types of peppers we don't want to do it too big a few uh peppers we're gonna definitely grow some um, salad greens. We're gonna grow kale, and we're gonna grow um, spinach. I'm gonna give it another try. Spinach, and a new one that I'm gonna grow that I never grew before is this one. Okay, so this is the tomatillo, tillo, um, tomato. So 
it's a purple one i don't know have you guys ever groomed this before let me know if you liked it so we're trying this this year for the first time and um <clears throat> we're gonna grow some herbs so we're gonna grow i was so successful with my mint last year um was it sweet mint peppermint and um oregano ease just goes easily so i was successful with those we're going to be growing those this year and um blueberry uh tree tree branch we're going to be growing those and that's it um then i'll tell you how how i grow them in containers and then the next thing for flowers we're going to be growing a little bit of each is the zinnias aren't they beautiful and the pansies of course they're beautiful and once i grow these i'm going going to um i'm going to bring them to my mother's and my brother's graveside so i can plant them there because um i find, just found out this year that pansies are has a meaning of memory like that i read that somewhere and um so we're going to plant it there remembrance of remembrance so i'm going to plant it there so so remembrance of them we'll never forget them right so and some for the house because we just love flowers and morning glory is the first time i'm going to grow them aren't those beautiful and i'm not sure how you call this nesturantian beautiful those have leaves i like those and yeah, and that's it. And the marigolds, because I don't have any here. I have to buy a pack. Because I was so successful with those. I'm going to explain that to you now. So those are the food we're growing now. We're going to be growing. And now um, I'm going to share with you why I was so successful with my... Uh, more last year than I was other years. Um, let me put these in here. They just fell off the bag. The envelope. I'm just going to put them in here. So, um, yeah, so let me know in the comments down below too, guys, what you guys are planning to grow. If you're going to do a container garden, you're going to grow on the ground, let me know. And, um, <clears throat> okay, so first I start with the ceilings, okay? I'm going to recommend you what to use for your, what I bought at walmart.com and, um, and keep a lookout because it was around this time of year and they're going to have them on sale, okay? So, it's growing season, guys. They have stuff on sale now. So, just check. Um, I went to Ocean Ocean Stage Job Law and they have all growing. They have seeds on sale. They had everything that had to do with the garden, 40% off. All right, so I bought I bought grow lights. Sorry if my, my video is freezing. It's just that my camera, my other camera's not working. So I have to just work with what I have with. So I bought grow lights. I bought two two different ones. First, I bought this one, which I'm going to show it to you now. Okay, so first I bought this one. Okay, I bought it at Walmart.com. These range from $24 to, I'm just going to plug it. I saw them to $36, $39. Okay, so this is the two head one. They have the three head one. Okay, so I'm going to show you how it works. It has a control panel for power. Um, it has two different light settings, the blue, I think, and the red. And, um, and it has a timer. You could time it up to how many hours you want uh, them to be on, and they automatically turn off. Okay, so let's see. This is the color. This is the red and blue together. Look how bright that is, guys. Imagine that uh, a plant right underneath that. Okay, this is the LD, LED lights. Okay, and then um, for me, this this settings with the pink and blue is a better. Uh, I've seen that the plants grow better with this setting. And then they have the um, they have just the blue, and then they just have the pink. Okay, it's to different settings, and then you do the timer. You could just do one, or you could do both, and then you turn it off. So, 
I bought two of these and I had them since last year. I used them a lot last year and I still, I mean, still able to use it this year. I have not, I do not have to replace these because these do, uh, you could take these off and buy them, buy a different one to replace it if the, if the lipo thing doesn't work. Um, but, um, I already see that this year I, mean, I don't need to do that. Okay. So very good quality. So it has this cramp thing here that you could click it into the table or a shelf or anywhere where you want to put your ceilings. And then you could either put them this way or this way. I usually use them both like this together. And then I, I have plants my seeds. Then once the plants, you have to keep it as close as you can to the dirt until your, uh, your plant starts growing. And as it grows, you just bring this up higher and higher and higher and higher. Okay? Until you, you're ready to put them outside. They grow big enough that you, to put them outside. Now, the other one I bought is this one. This lamp cramp. Okay? This also has the thing here for you to... Um, you could um, clip this onto the same thing like the other one, to a shelf or a table or, you know. And so you could cl clip it on somewhere and you put your plants and then you put the lights and this this is adjustable, okay? The, these cost $9.99 each. I, will, I bought them at walmart.com. I have three. Very happy with them. This, this uh, grow light here, um, at first I went to... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, Home Depot, and Home Depot, one light bulb was like eighteen to twenty something dollars. So I was like, that's too pricey for me. So that's when I went online and I found it at Walmart's website. Now the name of this one, this comes, this is a three pack for I think it was about twelve dollars, and and it it's called Trisonic. Okay, I'll put it down the below, and they're the grow lights, light bulbs for the grow light lamps. Um, Trasonic, and I use this light bulb throughout the growing season. And and I'm sorry about the dogs, guys. Um, my neighbor has dogs next door, and they're barking right now. So I'm so sorry about that. And I use them all year round because um, also um, I use them for the house plants, and I don't need to replace them because it still works. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how bright this is. Okay. I don't want to blind anybody, but that's how bright it is. Okay. On and off switch there. Now, the only thing I didn't like about ordering it online was that they came three in a pack. And I'm not, I forgot the name of the company because this is a year ago. But never will I order from them again. I'm trying to see if I could find out in Walmart's app what company it was. They just put it in a box with no bubble or no protection outside a box and it did not say fragile no tape that says fragile and so uh, one came broken and i only have two but still for the price of two for that is kind of cheap and they both still work so yeah i re recommend these so go on walmart.com guys and just put in the search box um put grow lights and all these items will pop up and keep your eyes out for sales. I recommend these. This is because I grow my ceilings indoors with these. And um, you could also grow through a whole year. Um, the whole year, you could use these to grow, even in the winter, some vegetables indoors. Like lettuce, spinach, you know, um, some greens. Okay? And to, to keep you until um, next season. So those are the two I recommend. Okay? Um, now, what I do with the, uh, once my plants have grown and I want to take them outside, I get my containers clean and, um, if I'm going to, if they're reusable and then, um, I use, um, pea moss, pea moss, you could get a huge bag of pea moss at Home Depot and I only spend $9.99 for it. That's it, and I still have more than half a bag for this year. Um, pea moss, and I did not use the potting mix. I only used this this year, last year, 2020, I used garden soil, okay, because I made my own mix, potting mix. I made it with the pea moss, 
garden soil and I made it with the pre pure light okay those are the three so what I did was I put one part of pea moss one part of garden soil and one part of the pure light and I mix it together I have that in a big bucket right container and I mix up the dirt so what I do is um, now to, throughout the you should start doing this before spring, right? But you could still do it. Um, then I make my own compost. I save leaves. I used to. Right now I don't because I have to move. So last fall I didn't save leaves. And um, so because they sold the house. So the year before I used to go around my neighborhood and I used to collect the leaves. Um, and I used that for my compost. Okay. And I would use kitchen scraps, which it would be like um, eggshells, um, coffee, coffee grinds, uh, coffee filters, um, uh, the, the leftovers of carrots when you're chopping up your food, um, carrots, um, lettuce, um, you know, ceruli, and um, different kitchen scraps, right? Um, even orange peels, onions peels um yeah so i save all that kitchen scrap and i put it in a container and let it uh decompose i put some dirt on it and let, um of the compost that i already had and i'll let it decompose um so and then when it's time for me to plant my plant in the container what i do is i put i the the my um the dirt that i have ready i put a layer of it in the pot Always make sure that your containers have plenty, plenty of holes in the bottom and the side of the pot before you put the dirt in. And then I put the dirt in and then I put a layer, it's like lasagna, right? I put a layer of the compost, then a, a layer of dirt and a layer of the compost and a layer of dirt and a layer of compost. And then it would be dirt, it would be the last top in the top. And so then I plant my plant in there and before, um, before I put, I make a hole, and in that hole, I put more compost in it. Then I put the plant. I put the plant in there. So then, um, then what I do is I, on top of the dirt, I use Spanish moss or the wood chips that they sell at Home Depot. You know, they come in red, black, or, but I buy the red ones because it makes, it makes the garden look pretty. And that will keep your dirt moist. Also, I use a um, a temperature and water meter. They sell them at home doing the Home Depot. I pay ten dollars for mine. Those are good to have because it checks the pH in your dirt, the, the the water, and the moisture. And that's good to have because I used to overwater my plants, and now I don't do any. I don't do that anymore. I use that. I check them first with that. Some people would put their fingers inside the dirt, and if it covers all the way up to the finger, then uh, it comes out dry in the bottom, then they add water. So um, I don't do that anymore. So, or sometimes I get lazy and I'll do it, but still, I, I use the meter thing. So, so that's how I uh, was successful with my garden. I, um, everything was organic. I used no chemicals. For fertilizer, I use fish oil. It stinks, but it's worth it. And the fish oil costs $9.99. I got the, it's organic. And um, all you need is a, and a gallon of water. You, the cap of the, of the, um, of the container, of the bottle container of the fish oil, you fill it to this much. And you put it in the, um, the gallon of water, you shake it up very well, and I pour that in my dirt. And I'm telling you, I had the most beautiful tomatoes. My cucumbers were, like, they just, they were the best cucumbers um, harvest I ever had in the last two years. Um, the kale grew be beautifully. Everything grew beautifully. The only thing that I was not successful was with the peppers and the, um the other tomatoes but the roma tomatoes grew beautifully so that's why i don't understand why the other tomatoes didn't so i don't know we'll see 
this year, but I was happy with my garden, um, with everything else that was growing. It was a small garden, but um, <clears throat> I did enjoy it, and um, it's always good to eat fresh food, organic food, growing from your own garden. There's nothing like it. I needed a tomato, I would go outside and get a tomato. I needed a cucumber, I would go outside and get the cucumber if it was ready to be cut. And if not, I had a both sitting on the table with tomatoes and cucumbers. I mean, it was fun. It was awesome. So yeah, so that's that's the tips that I have for you guys today. These are the foods that I'm growing and the flowers. Please let me know down below what are your plans. And let me know what I could do for Zone 6A. What I could do about the peppers. I'm not sure. It wasn't very successful. So, um, and, it, and then the one that was successful grew, took a long time. One plant that was, and it only had two peppers in it. it took a long time to grow. It could have been also that um, maybe the other flowers were not pollinated. So, I'm going to keep an eye on that too. But I tell you, I had a beautiful butterflies kept coming back to my garden because of the marigold. Go That's what I forgot to tell you. So, the marigold is the number one Thing that I think that helped my garden not have any pests at all. Then 2019 and 18, my the caterpillars were eating up my salad. It was eating up. Um, uh, they were just destroying my garden. Okay, and also um, I had a lot of ants. I had an ant problem in my containers. And this year, I didn't have. Uh, this past year, 2020, I did not have those problems. I had no spiders in there. I didn't have nothing in there. So I was very successful. The marigolds, they don't like the marigolds, the smell of the marigolds. And I think the marigold was the uh, reason why I had no pets in my containers. Or eating up my tomatoes. Not one bug ate a tomato. Not one bird, not one bug didn't eat my tomatoes. They didn't perk it on it, nothing. So, um... What I did was I put a marigold, uh, uh, depends how big your containers are, I put, if there's a big container, I put two plants in there, and the smaller containers, um, you know, the 12 inch, 15 inch, I will put one plant in there, but the 18 gallon containers, I will put two plants in there, and let me tell you, I, the marigolds I bought were the, the mixed color ones, they grew beautiful. They were just tall. They were like five feet tall and they were and they smell good and they were just beautiful. They just made my garden look beautiful. So try that out this year. Um yeah, and 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 um that all worked for me, you know. I was always another tip is once your plants start growing and, and your vegetables start growing, you have to go out there early in the morning and start checking on your on your garden. Check your your containers and I did that every day I would go out there and make sure that and check that and make sure that there was no bugs or anything like that which I didn't find any but you know sometimes we're fighting squirrels and we're fighting you know so um so every morning check check your plants check your um your plants because um if you sometimes if we wait sometimes we'll turn away from our garden for a few days when you come to see something happened and it just it just went out of control and and probably the plants dying or got a disease so that's why it's good to check your plants because in case your leaves are turning yellow or they got the black spots and then you go in there with a spray with mean oil in a, in a spray bottle with, with water and um or um, oxygen peroxide and you spray them but I'll, I'll explain that in another video so guys yeah this video is pretty 33 minutes so I just um, wanted to come by and say happy spring. Yeah, that's why I have these on. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let's just have fun. Let's just have fun planning out our garden and see what we're going to grow this year. So let me know what you guys are going to be up to this year with your garden. And if you have any questions, please um, leave your questions down below. If you have any advice for me, please leave them down below, especially about the peppers and the other tomatoes. And... I want to give a few shout outs to some new subscribers that I see here. And every time we have new subscribers, I will be giving you guys a shout out. Five subscribers per video. So it won't take so long. So <clears throat> I will say your first name and first initial of your last name. Um, Tracy H. Georgia A. If 
Ferret Novel Tale Channel and Mary F. And there was one more and uh, Linda H. And Linda H. had a question about my, that slow cooker right there. She asked me if I got the problem fixed and my answer is no. I was, it's right now it's twist all the way and it still won't open. So we'll talk about that in another video. But I'm happy with my Presto canner. So guys, thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And please like, subscribe, and share. And have a great weekend. Bye for now. Until I see you in my next video.